Nine coups in Africa in the last three years have brought to the fore the need to review governance in the continent. Since 2020, there have been military interventions violently disrupting governance structures in Gabon, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. Some of the reasons advanced for these disruptions are poor governance, neocolonialism, and harsh economy. But observers say, if not checked, the trend could continue. As we embark on this discourse, we must realize that coup d'etats are dark dots on our regional and continental security, political stability, and democratic good governance. The resurgence of coups in the African continent had tendencies to destabilize and create dysfunctionalism in our justice, governance, political stability, and material prosperity. The forum is very concerned about the implications arising from this coup d'etat. Some of the solutions preferred are strengthening the democratic process by addressing inequalities and other deficits. It's important that we start respecting norms and principles, democratic norms and principles. I knew what it took people of Sierra Leone, no, Senegal, to stop uh, the president from trying to contest again and change the constitution. He has not stopped. More likely he's going to do it. So when, when people who we vote into power, as, and they tell us that they are, they are Democrats, they get into power and change the constitution, then they give room for us to support alternatives. Yeah, there are good reasons for coup. Um, bad governance, bad leadership, harsh economic situation, social disorientation and social rehabilitation and so many other things. But then it is clearly unacceptable that the military will take over power in an already organized democratic environment. We also clearly agree that um, we all have responsibility to protect this democracy because at the end of the day, it is in the overall interest of all of us, both the government and the governed. Participants also caution international bodies to be careful about intervening in the local politics of these countries to prevent escalation capable of plunging the continent further into crisis. Ferdinand Durohar, Arise News.